Okay, Algebra 1, Lesson 20. This one is on volume, and this pretty much will be review, although it will um, be good to kind of cover a few more things. So, let's talk about what volume is. Um, the best way that I can share what volume is, is using a sugar cube, and obviously I don't have one, but um, or a box, any kind of box um, would be something, but you're basically taking length, width, and height, so all three dimensions. Now, let's talk about, um, uh, let's just do something simple. Let's do a box. Let's do that first. Okay, and I'm just going to draw a box with the best I can in three-dimensional. Okay? Um, I'm going to use this dotted line to show what's in the back. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, the area, if we were to find area, the area just what is on the bottom, what covers the bottom, the length and the width. Yeah. But if we also do height... It's the volume, okay? So, for example, if we had three sugar cubes across, across um, two sugar cubes back, um, then that would create six sugar cubes in all. So, three across and two back, complete, completing the whole thing would equal six. But now we're going to also add the height, which is three. Okay, and let's just say this is in centimeters. That'll help. Okay, so you would do three centimeters times two centimeters times three centimeters to get the volume. So volume is, and you need to write this down, the area of the base times the height. You need to know this, okay? And now this happens to be the base on this object happens to be a square or a rectangle, okay? So, um, if I was going to find the area of a rectangle, then it would be length times width. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. So, 3 times 2. And then if I times it by the height, then um, after that it would be times 3. Okay? So, this answer would be 3 times 2, 6. 6 times 3, 18 centimeters cubed. This is very important that you are remembering to put that cubed up there because... You're multiplying 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 3 centimeters. So, 18 and then centimeters times centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters cubed. Okay, that's very important that you remember that. Okay, now, knowing that formula, that volume equals the area of the base times height, let's do a little bit harder one. Okay, mm -hmm. here's an example. This one's going to be a little bit harder to draw and even do. <laughs> doing the best I can, okay? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, um, now, this figure right here, <laughs> I want to show you what it actually looks like if you were to see it looking up from it, okay? Um, four centimeters wide, and then it is eight centimeters. This thing right here is actually a dotted line, okay? Eight centimeters, now, um, whenever you look at an object like this, the base is what it's sitting on, okay? Mm -hmm. So what is the base on this figure? Uh, it's the square on the bottom. Can you tell? Well, yeah. it's actually... Uh, or the triangle. It's actually a triangle, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's hard. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to draw this. Okay, so it is a triangle on the bottom. You're exactly right. So, what are you going to do? Volume means the area of the it base times height. times height. Okay, now, what is my base? It's the triangle on triangle. the bottom. Okay, that is important. So, you are finding the area of a triangle and then the height. Now, to find the area of a triangle... What do I do? Do you remember? Uh, it's base times height, or no, length time, something divided base by two. Base times height, yeah. Divided base times two. height divided by two. That is very important that you insert that into here. Okay? So the base is four. The height is eight. Eight times four, 32. Divided by two is 16. And I think this is in centimeters, yes. Centimeters squared because we're multiplying two numbers. Okay, an area is always squared. So, the area of a triangle, this triangle, is 16 centimeters squared. And now we're going to multiply that by what? The height. the height. Now, here's what it tells me. Um, the base of a right prism of an isosceles triangle is shown. The height of this right prism is 6 centimeters. So, from here to here, 
is six centimeters. So I'm gonna take the 16 centimeters squared times six centimeters, and 16 times six is 96 centimeters. That square plus one more makes cubed. Got it? Yep. Feel like you understand it pretty good? Mm -hmm. It's very important that you know what you're doing and which formula you're using. Because a lot of people would just multiply 4 times 8 and get 32 and forget that you're supposed to half it because it's a triangle. Yeah. Okay? So it's very important that you remember to do that. Okay? Um, let's do a few more. Okay? Here's the next one. And this is a, a funky looking um, one as well. So here we go. <laughs> oh, my drawing abilities today are not so good. Okay? Okay, and then we have this kind of like this box down here. Woo, that's pretty. Okay, there you go. There's our uh, picture. Now, they're going to take and show you what this base is when you look down, and here's what it looks like when you look down. This one's a much easier to draw. Okay? So they tell me this one's 10, of course these are squ uh, square, so 6 and 4. Okay, now that's important, okay, that's my base, mm -hmm. okay? So what is the area, what is the uh, volume? It's the area of the base times the height. Area of the base times the height, so I'm just going to put H. Okay, good. Now this is my base, this figure, okay, so what are we going to have? Have the triangle and the square right Very there. Very good. So we're going to take and I'm going to divide that up. Okay. Can I know what each of these um, amounts are? Well, we know this is four and this is six. Okay. But now let's look at this triangle. It's if six. this is four, yes. It's six and six. Then this is from here to here is what? Six. Six. Very good. So this is four. All right. And what is the height of this triangle? Six. Six. Very good. Okay. Now. Let's do the area of the base. This is my base, and this one happens to be area of a rectangle and area of a triangle. Remember you remember me teaching you that? Okay, so the area of a rectangle is length times width. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Very good. Okay, so area of the rectangle is four times six, length times width, 24, right? Mm -hmm. Is this in centimeters or what? This is in meters, meters squared. Okay, now let's do this um, triangle. I have six base and height is six, so base and height, six times six, which is 36 divided by two, 18. So the area of the triangle is 18 meters squared, and the area of the rectangle is 24. What should I do to get this total? You add it. Okay, which would be what? 42. What? 42. 42, 42 meters squared. Okay, so we just found the area of the base. That's all we found so far. Now, now let's find the height. Let's see what it says it is. Um, the base on this right prism is 8 meters high. So this is 8 meters high. So what am I going to do? 42 times 8. 42 meters squared times 8 meters, which equals 336, 336 meters cubed. Making sure that you're doing the cube because we're doing volume, and volume is three figures when you're multiplying meters times meters times meters. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's do a little bit, a few more. Okay. Here's the picture I've got. This is kind of like one we had the other day, similar anyway. Oh boy, that's beautiful. Okay, now. Um, they're going to tell me what this base is, and here's what it looks like. Okay. Now, they tell me that the, uh, the base of this right solid is 10 kilometers high. Okay? So this is this, and this is the base. Okay, what is volume? Area of the base. Times height times height. Very good. Volume equals that. Okay, so let's find the area of this base. What am I finding the area of? A rectangle and Okay, circle. so I'm going to put A, R, and what else? Rectangle and circle. Okay. Um, semicircle. Um, it's actually going to be called a semicircle. Very good. So I'm going to put A of SC, semicircle. Okay, now what is the area of a rectangle? Length times width. What's the area of a 
semicircle. Pi, well, the area of a circle pi is pi what? r squared divided by 2. Pi r squared is the area of a circle, but since we're finding half of it, divided by 2. Very good. That's important that we write those down. Now, the area of this rectangle is going to be what? 30. 6 times 5, 30. 30 kilometers squared. And then, to find the area of this semicircle, I'm going to go pi r squared. The r is a 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, and 9 times pi divided by 2. 9 times pi it divided by 2 is going to give me 14.13 kilometers squared. Now, um, I went on and did that. You can do that on the calculator. So pi times 9 and then divided by 2 is 14. So this figure right here is how much all together the rectangle in that? 44.13. 44.13. Okay, so that's the area of my base, and now times it by the height, times 10. So that basically just moves the decimal one time. Remember that rule? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the answer is going to be 441.3 kilometers cubed. Right? Mm -hmm. You got it? All right. Another one. We've got two more shown, and the, the last one is really easy, okay? So here's this one. My cylinder is like a Coke can, okay? And here's what it says. The um, radius is 6, and then it tells me the height is 11. Okay, now how am I going to find the volume of this? Pi r squared. Okay, first of all, volume equals area. Or the base times uh, height. Base times height, okay? The area of this base, what kind of base do we have? It's a circle. circle. So I'm going to put the area of a circle, which is pi r and squared. And rectangle. Okay. And then, well, we're just finding uh, yeah. the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's for, the, yeah. So that's it. Okay. So r is six. 6, and then 6 squared is 36. 36 times pi is? 113.04. 113.04. Point zero four, and this is in uh, inches, inches squared. Okay, but now we have to take the area of the base, which is 113, and times it by the height. So times that by 11 inches. Okay, and you get 1,243.44. Very good. 1,243.44 inches cubed. Understanding it now. Whenever you see one like this. For example, oh boy. Okay. Okay, just a real kind of weird looking shape. Okay, and that's actually a straight. Okay. Um, when there's not a definite, you don't know if this is a circle, a square, or whatever, they should give you what the area of this is, the base. And here they do. They tell me that the base is 52 feet squared. Okay? And then they're going to tell me that the height is 15 feet. So what do I do on this problem? 52 times 15. 52 times 15. This one actually is simpler because they already give you the area of that funky shape. And it's going to end up being 780 feet cubed. Got it? Mm -hmm. That is lesson 20.